Hi, this is John Clements. Welcome to the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today's Monday, June 18th, 2007. It's a beautiful June day out here, about 80 degrees. We're out in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in a super spindle apple planting that's planted about two feet apart. As you know, in the Northern Hemisphere, we're approaching the summer solstice, and that's the longest day of the year. And that should set you off to a few very important horticultural things that we should be doing, particularly in these dwarf orchards. I like to get close to the trees finally. It's starting to quiet down a little bit after the bloom and, and petal fall period. Finally time to get into the trees. And one thing I like to do is make sure we do a little summer pruning. And while I'm doing that, I'm scouting for scab lesions, which I haven't found any yet, so that means I don't have to worry about scab anymore. I also look for oblique banded leaf roller larvae because they should start appearing about this time. But the important thing about summer pruning is during this summer solstice period when the days are the longest is when these trees are starting to decide whether uh, potential fruit buds are going to be fruit spurs for next year or fruiting buds or they're going to be vegetative buds. So right around the summer solstice is when the trees do this. And uh, one thing they need is light. You need light you know, distributed throughout the canopy. Um, in order to form a fruit bud, you need at least 30% or so full sunlight. So a little summer pruning this time of the year is a good idea. Removing the vigorous um, one-year-old shoot growth is pretty obvious now. Secondly, um, uh, if we need to do any additional hand thinning above and beyond what our chemical thinners do, um, this is the good time to, to do some hand thinning. Um, research has shown that you really pretty much need to get your hand thinning done by the, the middle of June, at the, at the very latest, the third, third to fourth week in June, to have any benefits from doing that hand thinning to help initiate fruit bud formation for the following year. So basically, these trees are in pretty good shape. There's a few varieties, such as Cameo and Golden Delicious, which is set up in spurs. So what you want to do is go through the trees and using hand thinning, thin, thin those clusters where you see three or four fruit. Uh, down to at least just a one or two fruit depending on the total crop load of the tree. Um, so again this combination of summer pruning to let a little light into the tree and doing the hand thinning to predispose the trees to start forming fruit buds for the next year is an important horticultural technique to get the, uh, uh, the trees ready to, for fruiting again next year and get them in good shape. In addition to, like I said, spending some time in the foliage looking for disease and insect damage. Uh, I always enjoy doing this this time of the year. One other thing I wanted to show you is I use this um, ARS long handled pruner. This one's six feet tall. I bought from Orchard Equipment. And this comes in handy for doing the summer pruning and even a little thinning on the top of the tree. Uh, in the top of the tree. It gets kind of tricky with the clustered varieties such as Cortland or Macown, but I find rather than climbing up and down a ladder, I can go through this, through and do my thinning and summer pruning with this uh, pretty easily. So John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor with a few summer solstice horticultural uh, tips that we need to be thinking about in our dwarf orchards. I hope you have some chances to work on that. Um, until next time, have a good day.